We are now going to look at section 23B and C, both capital letters, simple sections, but very important sections. Section 23B is a section that tells you that you can't claim a deduction twice. So this is the section that basically says certain expenses, and I'm just going to use again um, something like legal costs, right? Legal costs, you might be able to claim a deduction for it under the general deduction formula and under section 11C, the special deduction formula. You should always first consider the special deduction formula and you cannot have both apply. That's basically what section 23B tells us. Section 23C is another important one and this is a section that is tested throughout. This is a way of testing that. Section 23 capital C says that you need to exclude the VAT from the cost of items, and this is for income and expenses, if those amounts included VAT. So for example, the base to show you is, if X Limited purchases inventory at a cost of 115,000 rands including VAT, if they are able to claim the input tax, then the cost is 100,000 rands, which is the cost excluding VAT. If they are not able to claim input tax, then they will use the cost including VAT for income tax. Of course, remember what the idea is behind it. If you spend 100, so this is a cash outflow for you, 115,000 rands. If you are able to claim 15,000 rands VAT back from SARS, it means it only costs you 100,000 rands. That is why you have to do it. If you are unable to claim it, then it means it costs you a full 115,000, which is why you have that. Now this is a great way of testing VAT because they can now tell you this company has residential accommodation and now they go and they purchase um, some assets and then you need to know, oh, it's exempt, you can't claim the VAT, and therefore it includes VAT. It's a great way of testing it. And then just as a comment here, be especially careful in questions when they give you the amounts excluding VAT because remember, if you buy second-hand goods from a non-vendor, that cost will exclude VAT, but you are able to claim VAT on it. Okay, so what do I mean? So if I go and I say, X Limited purchased second-hand goods from a non-vendor and claimed notional input tax. Cost was, let's say, 100,000 rands. What is the amount that you will use for your income tax? The amount times 100 over 115, because you will claim VAT on that amount. Okay, so remember guys, if you could claim VAT, if there was any VAT claimed, it must be reduced from the cost. Very, very, very important. This is also why in questions you will often see, they will say to you, all amounts exclude VAT in this question. Then it means they've already done the work for you, because most people are VAT vendors. That means they've already given you that and you don't have to exclude the VAT. But please do be on uh, the lookout for it.